Salutations, queens and kings, brothers and sisters. My name is Queen Jam, and I'm back at it again with another video. This one is sewing based. So this is for all my other future sewists out there. What's up? Hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, fellas, how you doing? Kings and queens out there. I have a special, special treat for us, all right? So I was looking on the internet, browsing, happened to stumble across a 62, yes, I said it, 62 piece pressure foot set. You know how, many, how much money I spent on like one pressure foot? <sighs> Honey, okay? So when I saw this set, I was like, I guessed to share this with the fam. So get a seat because you're gonna be like, what? And trust and believe, I'm going to um, put the link down in the description box below. Hopefully they're not all sold out um, where I purchased it from. And um, yeah, this is the set without, <laughs> without further ado. This is the set that I was talking about. And hopefully, ooh. And hopefully you can see it and there's not that much of a glare from the lighting. But this is the set that I was referring to. I'll turn it on the back so you can see the names of everything. And feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast for you. So you can actually pick up the names of all of the pressure foot sets you see. So, I'm going to, just in case you didn't see it, I'm going to read what each one is. Ooh, they're falling out. One, one almost fell out. But I'm going to read, try and read the names of all of these. So, starting from, from this side. This is a coarse tucker with five grooves. The next one is an electric tucker with seven grooves. Then we have a single pin pleating foot. The next one is a thin material pressure foot with a tight stitch. The next one is a quarter inch of plastic quilting pressure foot. And I'm sorry that I'm like struggling to read this. Honestly, when I record these YouTube videos, I have to have lighting, you know, cause I'm a brown sister. So I definitely have to have lighting so I don't, you know, you definitely have to have lighting but the lighting really um, messes with my eyes and it will put glares really bad in my eyes where I'll be struggling to read little words and stuff like that until the glare that I have the still residual glare that I still have from the lighting disappears <laughs> so just work with me here. <laughs> anyway um invisible I think the last one I said was a quarter inch of a plastic quilting pressure foot I have the next one is an invi invisible arc, yeah, invisible arc pressure foot. The next one is a Taiwan batching number four. The next one after that is a Taiwan batching number six. After that, it is a Feng Hua type 700 pressure foot. And then you have a Feng Hua type 505 pressure, uh, Questure actually foot. And the previous one was Questure. It's Q R E S S E R foot. So that's interesting. And I haven't tried all of these, but when I do, I will um, test them out on my own and then record videos of the different pressure foots that I've tested so far. And you see it's a 62 piece set. Half of these, I don't even, I'm not even sure that I'll use, but I feel like I need to do a project just so that I can use them. So the next one after that is a stitch glide foot, starting right here. The stitch glide foot, we have universal presser foot, the open toe foot, the zipper foot, the nail button presser foot, the plastic invisible zipper, uh, zipper presser foot, the applique foot, the round bead foot, the iron opens the mouth to. Yeah, that's what. That's that's what this one is called. The iron opens the mouth to. And then the next one, starting from right here, is the sewing pressure foot. The 
the satin stitch foot, the six millimeter roll of lace presser foot, the zigzag foot, open toe embroidery foot, large opening presser foot, cording foot, one fourth quilting foot, braiding foot if you don't speak iron. Right there. Standard presser foot, straight stitch foot, a quarter quilt piecing guy foot, um, overcast foot, five hole cording foot, seven hole cording foot, edge joining foot, double welting foot, invisible zipper foot, fringe foot holder, and metal invisible zipper. Bye -bye right there. And getting to the second to last row, adjustable. Yes, yeah, so I'm starting right here. Adjustable bias tape binder foot. This is the big one. The adjustable binding foot. <laughs> I'm too excited to use these. All right, and then you have the shearing foot, the three millimeter narrow edge presser foot, the three millimeter wide edge presser foot, the three millimeter roll of lace presser foot, the roller foot, the sewing beads uh, presser foot, small zipper, positioning presser foot, stud wide, whip stitch and now starting from right here the buttonhole presser foot the darning foot low shank and the blind stitch foot darning foot zipper foot low shank and knit foot seven groove pin tuck foot nine groove pin tuck foot iron blind stitch presser foot threader and no guide wide whip stitch so y'all again this is about to be so fun okay again I cannot wait to I cannot wait to use some of these put them back in their rightful places I cannot wait to use some of these and record some videos for you all so you can definitely look and see which each is for. And this will be a journey for both of us because half of these, like I said, I definitely don't do any quotes, quotes or anything, but hey, who doesn't need a blanket or two? <laughs> so maybe I'll make, make a family quilt. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll put the link down in the description box below. Um, if you're familiar with any of these uh, presser foots and um, you have a personal project that you know will be perfect for one of these or just any comments in general please put them down below give this video a thumbs up remember to subscribe to our channel so that you can be the first to be notified for when i do post those videos and welcome to the family you know this is a community thing we gonna get this thing working as a tribe we got this all right <laughs> So again, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you soon in the next video. Happy sewing.